Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! The thin beam of light from the laptop screen pierced the darkness of the cramped bedroom. Outside, the city hummed with late-night traffic and distant sirens, but inside, a different kind of transformation was taking place. Fingers trembled over the keyboard, hesitating for just a moment before pressing post. The profile picture showed a radiant smile framed by cascading auburn hair, a stark contrast to the stubbled face illuminated by the screen's glow. Deep breath, he whispered, closing his eyes. When they opened again, they fixed on the name at the top of the profile, Evelyn Rose. It had started innocently enough, a few selfies taken in private, experimenting with makeup tutorials found on YouTube. Then came the thrill of ordering that first dress online, heart pounding as he clicked, confirm purchase. Now, weeks later, an entire corner of his closet was dedicated to a wardrobe that no one else knew existed. Until tonight. The post was simple. Hi everyone, new to all this, but excited to share my journey. Any tips for a girl just starting out? Hash makeup, newbie, hash transition goals. He, or rather, she, in this moment, refreshed the page compulsively. One like, two. A comment appeared. Welcome, hun. We've all been there. DM me if you need any advice. A grin spread across his face, wider than any he'd worn in months. For the first time in forever, he felt seen, understood, accepted. Little did he know, this was only the beginning. Days turned into weeks, and Evelyn's following grew steadily. What had started as tentative forays into makeup application blossomed into full transformations, documented meticulously for an eager audience. Slay, queen! Your eyeliner game is on point! Where did you get that dress? I need it in my life! The praise was intoxicating. In the safe cocoon of his apartment, he could be Evelyn without fear or judgment. The persona took on a life of its own, complete with a backstory and personality quirks that felt more authentic than anything he'd allowed himself to be in real life. But reality had a way of intruding, even in this digital sanctuary. Hey man, you've been pretty quiet lately. Everything okay? The text from his best friend Chris sat unanswered for hours. How could he explain that he'd been too busy perfecting his contouring technique to grab beers, that the thought of putting on a polo shirt and cargo shorts felt suffocating compared to the freedom of a flowy sundress? Yeah, just been busy with work. Rain check? The lie came easily, but left a bitter taste. As Evelyn's world expanded, his own seemed to shrink. One lazy Sunday afternoon, scrolling through comments on his latest post, a message caught his eye. You're so inspiring. I'd love to meet up sometime if you're in the Chicago area. Us girls gotta stick together. His heart raced. The thought of meeting someone in person, as Evelyn, was both thrilling and terrifying. But wasn't this the logical next step? The validation online was addictive, but ultimately hollow. To truly embrace this part of himself, didn't he need to step out into the real world? Before he could second-guess himself, his fingers flew across the keyboard. I'd love that. There's a great little cafe downtown called the Rustic Bean. How about next Saturday at 2? The response came almost immediately. Perfect! Can't wait to meet you, girl! As the reality of what he'd just done sank in, a mix of excitement and panic washed over him. This was really happening. Evelyn was about to become more than just pixels on a screen. The week leading up to the meetup was a blur of preparation. Every spare moment was spent practicing makeup application, agonizing over outfit choices, and watching countless YouTube videos on feminine mannerisms and voice training. Finally, Saturday arrived. Standing in front of the full-length mirror, he barely recognized himself. The wig was perfectly styled, makeup flawlessly applied. 
The sundress hugged curves created by carefully placed padding. For a moment, the line between Evelyn and his real self blurred completely. You can do this, he whispered, meeting his own gaze in the mirror. You are Evelyn. The walk to the cafe felt like stepping onto another planet. Every glance from a passerby sent his heart racing. Was he being clocked? Did they know? But as he rounded the corner to the rustic bean, he realized most people barely gave him a second look. Scanning the outdoor seating area, he spotted a woman waving enthusiastically. This must be her, Amanda, according to their messages. Taking a deep breath, he approached with what he hoped was a confident stride. Evelyn. Oh my god, you look even more gorgeous in person! Amanda's warm hug caught him off guard, but he leaned into it, relishing the feeling of acceptance. It's so nice to finally meet you, he said, silently congratulating himself on maintaining the softer, higher-pitched voice he'd been practicing. The next hour flew by in a whirlwind of conversation. Amanda was easy to talk to, full of advice and encouragement. For brief, shining moments, he forgot about the performance aspect entirely. This felt... right. As they were finishing their lattes, Amanda's expression grew serious. Listen, Evelyn, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Have you heard about the Trans Visibility March next month? He shook his head, a mix of curiosity and trepidation building. It's this amazing event downtown. Hundreds of people coming together to celebrate our community and fight for our rights. I really think you should come. It would be so empowering. The thought of being surrounded by others like him, like Evelyn, was incredibly tempting. But the scale of it, the publicity, could he really do that? I... I don't know. He stammered. That sounds pretty intense. Amanda reached across the table, squeezing his hand reassuringly. I know it's scary, but you're so strong, Evelyn. Your journey has inspired so many people online. Imagine the impact you could have in person. He nodded, not trusting himself to speak. As they said their goodbyes, promising to stay in touch, his mind was already racing with possibilities and fears. The walk home was a blur his thoughts a jumbled mess of excitement and anxiety. The freedom he'd felt during the meetup lingered, but so did the weight of what Amanda had proposed. A public march? That was a far cry from the safety of his online world, or even a quiet cafe meetup. As soon as he was back in his apartment, he carefully removed the wig and began the process of removing his makeup. With each swipe of the cleansing wipe, he felt the confidence of Evelyn slipping away, replaced by the uncertainty of his everyday self. Collapsing onto his bed, still wearing the sundress, he pulled out his phone. The notification light was blinking insistently. Dozens of new likes and comments on Evelyn's latest post, a selfie he'd taken right before leaving for the cafe. You're glowing, girl! Living your best life! Such an inspiration! The praise that had once filled him with joy now felt hollow. These people loved a carefully curated image, a persona he'd crafted. What would they think if they knew the truth, that Evelyn was just a part-time experiment, not a full-time reality? His thumb hovered over the Instagram app, tempted to make a post about the meetup, to share this milestone with his followers, but something held him back. This experience felt too real, too personal to reduce to a caption and a few hashtags. Instead, he opened his text messages. The unanswered one from Chris still sat at the top of his inbox, a reminder of the life he'd been neglecting. Hey man, you free to grab a beer tonight? The message sent before he could second-guess himself. Within minutes, his phone buzzed with a reply. Hell yeah! Murphy's at eight. A wave of guilt washed over him. How long had it been since he'd spent time with his best friend? How many invitations had he declined? 
too busy cultivating Evelyn's online presence. Sounds perfect. See you there. As he changed into jeans and a t-shirt, his gaze kept drifting to the closet where Evelyn's clothes hung. The boundary between his two lives, once so clear, was starting to blur. How long could he keep them separate? And more importantly, did he want to? The familiar atmosphere of Murphy's, all dark wood and the smell of stale beer, felt like stepping into another world after the afternoon's events. Chris was already at the bar, two pints waiting. Look what the cat dragged in. Chris grinned, pulling him into a back-slapping hug. Thought you'd fallen off the face of the earth, man. He forced a laugh, sliding onto the bar stool. Yeah, sorry about that. Work's been crazy. Must be. You look different. You lose weight or something? His heart skipped a beat. Had he not removed all the makeup? Was there a telltale smudge of eyeshadow he'd missed? Uh, maybe? Been trying to eat healthier, I guess? Chris shrugged, clearly not that interested. Well, whatever you're doing, it's working. So, catch me up. What's new? For a moment, he was tempted to tell Chris everything, to explain about Evelyn, about the exhilarating and terrifying journey of the past few months, but the words caught in his throat. Instead, he launched into a fabricated story about a challenging project at work, all the while acutely aware of how natural it felt to lie to his oldest friend. As the night wore on and the beers flowed, he found himself relaxing into the familiar rhythms of male bonding. But there was an undercurrent of discomfort, a nagging feeling that he was play-acting a role just as much here as he did when he was Evelyn. Oh, hey, Chris said suddenly, pulling out his phone. You remember my cousin Allie? She's moving to the city next month, and I told her you might be able to show her around. Maybe grab dinner or something? He nearly choked on his beer. What? I mean, why me? Chris rolled his eyes. Because you've been single forever and she's cute? Come on, man. When's the last time you even went on a date? The irony of the situation wasn't lost on him. Here was Chris, trying to set him up with a woman, completely unaware that he'd spent the afternoon in a dress, having coffee with another woman, but in a completely different context. I... I don't know, Chris. I'm not really looking to date right now. Seriously? Dude, you need to get out more. All work and no play, you know? If only Chris knew just how much play had been happening lately. But instead of explaining, he just shrugged non-committally. As they parted ways at the end of the night, Chris's words echoed in his head. Think about it, okay? Allie's really cool. I think you two would hit it off. The walk home was a stark contrast to his journey as Evelyn earlier that day. No one gave him a second glance now, just another guy in jeans and a t-shirt. But instead of feeling relieved, he felt invisible. Back in his apartment, he stood in front of the mirror, studying his reflection. With a sudden decisive movement, he opened his makeup bag and began to apply foundation. As Evelyn's features emerged, a sense of calm washed over him. Picking up his phone, he opened Instagram and began to type. Had an amazing day meeting a fellow sister in person. It got me thinking about how much of ourselves we share online versus in real life. I'm considering taking a big step and attending the Trans Visibility March next month. Terrified, but excited. Who else is going? Hash trans visibility, hash living my truth. His finger hovered over the post button for a long moment before pressing it firmly. As likes and supportive comments began to roll in, he felt a mix of exhilaration and terror. There was no going back now. The following weeks were a whirlwind of preparation and anxiety. Every spare moment was spent researching the Trans Visibility March, connecting with other attendees online, and agonizing over what to wear. The support from his followers was overwhelming, with many offering advice and encouragement. But as the day of the march approached, the reality of what he was about to do 
began to sink in. This wasn't just posting selfies or meeting one person for coffee. This was a public declaration, a step into a world he'd only glimpsed from behind a screen. The night before the march, he barely slept. Tossing and turning, his mind raced with worst-case scenarios. What if he was recognized? What if his family found out? What if he wasn't trans enough and the other marchers saw right through him? Morning came too quickly. Standing in front of his closet, he realized he'd never put this much thought into an outfit before. Finally, he settled on a flowing maxi dress in vibrant blue. Bold enough to stand out, but comfortable enough for a long day of marching. As he applied his makeup with shaking hands, he caught sight of himself in the mirror. For a moment, the line between his two selves blurred completely. Was he a man dressing as a woman, or had Evelyn been the truth all along, finally breaking free? The sound of his phone ringing snapped him out of his reverie. It was Amanda. Evelyn, are you ready? I'm so excited to see you! He took a deep breath, steadying himself. I'm... I'm ready, I think. God, I'm nervous. Amanda's laugh was warm and reassuring. Of course you are, but you've got this. We've all got your back. See you at the meetup point in an hour? I'll be there. As he ended the call, another text came through. This one from Chris. Hey, man. Want to catch the game later? Allie might join us if that's cool. For a moment, he stared at the message, two worlds colliding in the palm of his hand. With a mixture of guilt and resolve, he typed out a response. Can't today. Something important came up. Rain check? Turning off his phone before he could see Chris's reply, he took one last look in the mirror. Evelyn stared back, eyes bright with a mixture of fear and determination. This is who I am, he whispered to his reflection, at least for today. The walk to the meet-up point was surreal. Each step felt momentous, like he was crossing a threshold into a new life. As he approached the gathering crowd, a sea of rainbow flags and handmade signs, his heart pounded so loudly he was sure everyone could hear it. Evelyn! Over here! Amanda's voice cut through the noise, and suddenly he was enveloped in a group hug, surrounded by faces he recognized from profile pictures and supportive comments. You made it! Amanda beamed. I'm so proud of you! As the march began, he found himself swept up in the energy of the crowd. Chants of, trans rights are human rights, and we're here, we're queer, get used to it, filled the air. For the first time, he felt part of something bigger than himself, than Evelyn, than the carefully curated online persona he'd created. Halfway through the route, Amanda nudged him. Look, the news is here. Want to say something? Before he could protest, a microphone was thrust in front of him. The reporter's eyes were kind, but the camera lens felt like it was staring into his soul. Can you tell us why you're marching today? For a moment, panic threatened to overwhelm him. But then he looked around at the sea of faces, some male, some female, many somewhere in between, all united in their journey. In that instant, he knew exactly what to say. I'm marching because for too long, I lived in fear of being my true self. But today, surrounded by all these amazing people, I'm not afraid anymore. This is me. This is us, and we're not going anywhere. The words came out strong and clear, in a voice that was neither entirely his nor entirely Evelyn's, but something new, something authentic. As the march continued, he felt a weight lifting from his shoulders. With each step, each chant, each smile exchanged with a fellow marcher, he was shedding the fear and doubt that had held him back for so long. But, as they neared the end of the route, reality came crashing back. A familiar face in the crowd of onlookers stopped him cold. Chris stood on the sidewalk, eyes wide with shock, 
phone half raised, as if he'd been about to take a picture. For a long moment, they stared at each other, the noise of the march fading into the background. Then, slowly, Chris lowered his phone and gave a small, uncertain nod. It wasn't acceptance, not yet, but it was acknowledgement, and for now, that was enough. As the march dispersed, he found himself surrounded by new friends, all chattering excitedly about the day's events. Plans were made for coffee meetups, support group sessions, shopping trips. The virtual community he'd built was transforming into a real-world support system before his eyes. Back in his apartment that evening, exhausted but exhilarated, he finally turned his phone back on. Notifications flooded in, comments on his last Instagram post, messages from followers who'd spotted him at the march, and a text from Chris. We should talk. When you're ready. The future was uncertain. There would be difficult conversations, uncomfortable questions, and undoubtedly some painful moments ahead. The line between his online persona and his real-life identity had been irrevocably blurred. But as he looked at his reflection in the mirror, makeup smudged from a day of marching and cheeks flushed with excitement, he realized something profound. Whether he was presenting as male or female, online or offline, he was finally on the path to being his authentic self. With a deep breath and a small smile, he picked up his phone and began to type a new post, not as Evelyn, not as his old self, but as the person he was becoming. Today, I marched. Today, I spoke. Today, I began to live my truth, online and off. Thank you to everyone who's been part of this journey. It's only the beginning. Thanks for watching my girlies. Be sure to check out Patreon for more.